zien. Redelijk eigenzinnig. Het was serieus, maar ook in voor een grapje en zo. Redelijk eigenzinnig. Dus uh, ja, alles uh, zelf empirisch beoordelen, onderzoeken. Eigenlijk zo'n beetje een, een allegaartje van andere mensen en dan merk je wel dat het zo een beetje eigenzinnig is. Johan Olaf Kost proved that sport is not just sport. It means so much more. You might say he is one of the most uh, successful Olympic ice skaters uh, that uh, we have seen so far. He started a uh, organization. Uh, at first it was called Olympic Aid and later it changed to Right to Play. Right to Play makes use of athletes, of high level athletes, as a role model for children in Africa, in Asia. Uh, in uh, Latin America. Look after yourself, look after one another. If they only take care of themselves, there is no play, there is no sport, because there is no people to play with. People are brought more together by sports. Uh, children who often have the idea that they are very far away from the others, or say the, the opposite side. It's one thing to, uh, to rebuild schools and to uh, provide a good educational system. It's another thing to get these, uh, these children back to school because they have, uh, they have had so many traumatic experiences in the past. There are also, uh, for example, uh, cases in which uh, Right to Play works with uh, child soldiers, or former child soldiers, in which uh, children have not had the opportunity to, uh, to, to, have a, to lead a normal life as a child. It's easy to rebuild a nation it's more difficult to rebuild a child. Sport can be regarded as a means through which uh, some other important aspects, some other important strategies which are needed to rebuild uh, countries uh, uh, can, uh, can be facilitated. We all speak the same language when it comes to body language. We all speak the same language when it comes to movement, human movement. We all speak the same language when it comes to being attracted by a simple ball, for example. Sport can be regarded as a universal language. So I have a question for the audience. Should we take sport seriously?